Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Elite Sports Shooting. My name is Jeff. Today we're down at the range and it is October 2022. It is Thanksgiving and I'd like to say Thanksgiving to everybody out there and thank you very much for joining. So today I have the 12 gauge semi-automatic. It's a gas operated system, A300 Ultima. This is the uh, 26 inch barrel version. And I probably put about 250 to 300 rounds through it this morning. It is actually absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I actually replaced the, uh, the mobile chokes that came in it with a uh, an extended choke so instead of a 26 inch barrel I have a 27 inch barrel I wanted to see what the difference would be I was really hitting the clays really easily with the uh, with the mobile choke the flush mount mobile choke but I did want a little bit a little bit more just a little longer barrel so I went with the uh, Carlson it's a mid-range uh, it's a mobile choke so there is a difference between the mobile joke choke and the um, Optima choke the a400s run the Optima choke and the a300s run the mobile choke there is a difference between the two there's a size of uh, the the size is a little bit different the threads are not in the same they don't line up so just i'm giving you guys the heads up i went and i bought uh, an extended carlson uh, mid-range optima choke thinking it was for going to be for my beretta a300 it would not fit i grabbed my a400 and it fit in there perfectly and when i did the the the, the <laughs> did the googling and uh I, I i finally figured it out the A400 runs the Optima choke and the A300 runs the mobile choke. So just a heads up for everyone out there if you're looking to uh, replace your chokes. So anyways, I've got, like I said, I got between 250 and 300 rounds through this this morning. I'm really liking it. It's really accurate. I love the gas operated system. This has the three inch chamber and it also has the kickoff recoil reduction system now i find when i'm shooting it there's the recoil through through here is a gas piston right in 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 the stock and you can actually feel it, it feel it click almost so i'll just have you guys watch while I fire a couple of rounds. So I can feel it going in and out every time I pull the trigger and it's doing its job. It just, it, it's, it's taking me some getting used to. So I'm just gonna shoot two more rounds so you guys can check out the recoil. So you see how fast she is. It's a really fast gas operated system. And we're gonna, <clears throat> these rounds are the Challenger first class, they're handicap rounds, uh, not just the, the, the regular uh, target rounds. These have a, tar or a muzzle velocity of 1200 feet per second, where and the, the handicap rounds do. The regular target rounds usually are at that 1145 feet per second. So they're a little bit slower, but this shotgun here, no problems, no issues, no nothing when you're shooting. The, uh, I, I, either the, uh, the regular rounds or the target rounds. In the past, I have said some things that maybe I shouldn't have in regards to, to, uh, to ammunition. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Challenger rounds myself because they they run at 1,200 feet per second. So I have got some that were actually 1,300 feet per second. Where 
the Federal Top Guns uh, and the Winchester rounds, the just the regular rounds are 11.45. My A400 does not like the lighter rounds. It likes it likes the heavy rounds, the 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 the, the handicap rounds. We'll call them just handicap rounds. So I'm gonna shoot a couple more and you can just watch the recoil again. So really you don't feel much with this. You, there is a little bit of muzzle climb, but uh, it's not too too bad. So we're gonna we're gonna give the uh, three inch round a shot here, just two, and I'll get you guys to have a look and see what the uh, the recoil is. Now I am two, I fluctuate lately between two twenty and two sixteen, and I am six one. So this, these, those light target rounds don't really push me back a whole lot. But uh, the, the heavy steel, they're shooting at about 1,500 feet per second. So the recoil is gonna be a little bit more, but we're gonna see what the, uh, the, the recoil reduction system does, the kickoff. Now I really didn't even, really didn't feel that I like the way it uh, it accepts that recoil the, on the a300 the a400 was pretty good too I will say that I really like that a400 that kickoff the Beretta's kickoff recoil reduction system I've never shot three inch through this so this is the second time I've shot three inch through this Well, you know you're shooting them, but uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll do two more. Oh, you drop around, make sure that you always wipe it off really well. Don't put a dirty round in your gun. So one thing I do feel, because this has the, 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 the rubber comb cheek pad over overlay or over mold. I feel it sliding back and forth across my face. The, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of grippy and rubbery. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to see what happens in the future here. The, a 400 that I have does it's just a straight stock it doesn't have the the the, the comb cheek pad and when I say comb cheek pad it's not like the other conventional comb cheek pads I've seen on other shotguns it is literally just a piece of rubber over top so right now I'm kind of feeling it against my face maybe I just need to grow a beard I just need to be a man and grow a beard we're gonna shoot a couple more clays and then we'll wrap things up. <laughs> That's it. So, I do wanna do some pattern testing. Uh, there was a, a subscriber that, uh, that did suggest we do some, some um, some pattern testing. Uh, the range does have a, uh, we call it 2S, and 2S, uh, you, you can do pattern testing. It's got to baffles over top. It's actually really, really good. So I just have to get that range for maybe a day or two, and then I can actually do some pattern testing on all the shotguns, which would be, I'm actually looking forward to it. I have been thinking about that for a while, wondering how I was gonna do it, but I think I have a, a, a solution now. All right, well, that's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do so. And if you like the content of the video, click that like button, I really appreciate it. And always remember to keep both eyes on your target. 
thank you everyone.